Hello everyone, this is Slyman. Today's video is going to be geared towards new Celestron StarSense Explorer owners. This is going to be a video on how to set up the StarSense Explorer smartphone enabled telescope for the first time and get you out observing in as little time as possible. The first thing I'd like to mention is it's very important that you don't misplace or lose your owner's manual. It's something you'll want to refer to, but most importantly, it has a card in it, and that card has a code. And that code is used to activate your telescope in the Celestron StarSense Explorer app. So very important not to lose that. Now Celestron made it really easy to see where everything is inside this box. So you've got the telescope, it has its own box, you have the accessory tray, the slow motion controls, and the tripod in their box, and all the other accessories that you'll need in the other box. So that, that's nice to, to get started with. And it even comes with its own little accessory bag where you can keep your eyepieces and your various tools that you'll need to use the telescope. So with that being said, let's uh, dig into the tripod box and get started. The best part about this tripod is it's very, very lightweight. Very easy to, to spread apart, so if you're with shorter viewers, you can use it on the lower settings, and then you know if you're observing with taller people, you can just adjust the height that's needed. The tripod tray is next up, and it easily attaches just using these wing bolts. No tools required. So just line these up with the holes in the mount and screw them in. Make sure everything's nice and tight. And now we will install the slow motion controls. To assist in installing the slow motion controls, there is a hex key hidden inside the mount head that you can use to secure them. Okay, so now rotate the mount head so that you can see the slow motion control fittings. So there's one here and one here. Now notice I'm not able to put that on because the set screw is tightened too much. So we need to unscrew that and if you need to use the, uh, the hex key or if you can get to it with your fingers just undo that so that there is no obstruction of the set screw into the slow motion control. Now that the set screws have been backed out of the slow motion controls, we're now ready to install them. So I'm going to install the elevation slow motion control knob first. And this is going to control the telescope's movement up and down. So what we will need to do is align the set screw with the opening in the actual shaft. Once that's done, go ahead and screw that on. And you'll want to make sure these are pretty tight. We'll now put on the other slow motion control knob onto the azimuth axis, and this is what moves the telescope precisely from left to right. Now that both slow motion knobs are installed, we now just need to make sure to put our hex key back so we don't forget about it and lose it. And now we're going to mount the actual StarSense arm. This is what's going to hold your cell phone. And it also includes a mirror, which is what makes this entire thing work. Installing the arm is very simple. You don't need any tools. It has this locking button here. So all you do is just line up the grooves and turn it and it locks right into place. If you ever need to remove the arm, if you're transporting your telescope or anything, it's equally as easy. You just push in the button and turn it clockwise. Now the best step of all, you are ready to install the actual telescope to the mount. Mounting the telescope cannot be any easier. If you're new to astronomy, this is what's called a rail, and this is what's called the saddle. And the rail simply goes in the saddle and you just tighten the thumb screw. So let's do that now. And you'll feel it start to tighten up. Get it nice and secure. And now your telescope is installed. You're just about there, just a few more steps. Now that the telescope is installed, you'll now want to put on your red dot finder by inserting it through the back and tightening the thumb screw. 
As with many electronics that come with pre-installed batteries, it's really easy to forget to remove the plastic sleeve from the battery bay. So just uh, make sure you remember to do that, otherwise your red dot finder won't work. We're getting really close to finishing this off now, so the next step is to align the red dot finder. And to do that, you're going to want to use an eyepiece. So I'm going to put an eyepiece into the focuser here and take the telescope outside. Aligning the red dot finder is actually really easy to do. The first step is just to remove the dust cap off the telescope and point the telescope at something rather unique. So a light pole works really well, a feature on like a mountain or a landscape. In my case, I'm going to be pointing at a cluster of trees on the mountain. So you're gonna take your telescope and point at that object first. So I'm gonna find a good cluster of trees here. Okay and then use the slow motion controls to get that object right in the center of your eyepiece. Okay, perfect. So now that the telescope is centered on that object, now you need to turn your finder scope on, or your red dot, and align the dot so that it's pointing at the same exact object that the telescope is. Now the red dot finder does have adjustments on the back and on the front here. So what you're going to do is you're just going to adjust these until the uh, red dot is on the same object as the telescope. And it's that simple to align your red dot finder. With the telescope all set up now and the red dot finder aligned, you're now ready to observe. So just don't forget to download the Celestron StarSense Explorer app on your phone and also don't forget once that's done to put in the code that you need to activate your telescope. And a few last tips for me before you start your observing run. If you have this 130 millimeter Newtonian, the 25 millimeter eyepiece is going to give you 26 power magnification and the 10 millimeter eyepiece is going to give you 60 power magnification. A few other things, when you first start observing, don't forget to remove the dust cover. If you don't, you're not going to see anything obviously, so this is a biggie. Make sure this is off before you start. When you're done uh, you know, finding your object, you can turn your finder scope off and uh, yeah, make sure you take your mirror cover off too, otherwise nothing's going to work. Alright, well you are set up and now ready to observe, so enjoy your first night out. Astronomy is a very rewarding hobby if you're just getting into it. You know, you could get addicted pretty quick. With practice, you'll be up and running in about two minutes with this setup, so it's really, really awesome for beginners. Now, if you do have you know, further questions or want to see more of the app and how it functions and how to get things going, be sure to see my full review of the Celestron StarSense Explorer DX. And with that, thanks so much for watching, clear skies, and have a good one.